Number 69. Identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's a metallic, network covalent, ionic, or molecular crystalline solid, formed by each of the following substances, and then we have silicon carbide, or SIC. Now, is SIC going to be metallic, network covalent, ionic, or molecular? These are four different types of crystalline solids. Now, we did write down here, uh, kind of like a cheat sheet, to get to know the differences between these four crystalline solids. So let's just work from left to right and just see which one silicon carbide falls into. Now, if you have a metallic crystalline solid, just know that the word metal is in the word metallic. So in order to have a metallic crystalline solid, you just want to see a single metal. No non-metals allowed here. But if I go to the periodic table and I just see what these are, right? Silicon is actually a metalloid. So this is one of your elements that has both metal and non-metal properties. But carbon, on the other hand, carbon is purely a non-metal. It's on the right side of the periodic table. So here, since I don't just have a single metal, for example, it would be just like copper or just, you know, iron. Those are just two single metals. Uh, this would not be a metallic crystalline solid. So let's move on. Is it an ionic crystalline solid? Well, ionic crystalline solids come from ionic compounds. And the ionic compounds from long before is metal plus a nonmetal or if you start seeing polyatomics. But I don't really have a pure metal and a non-metal. I have a metalloid, so maybe in this case, you know, the silicon would act as the metal. But let's, let's keep going. Now, molecular uh, crystalline solids come from molecules. And remember, molecules is the word that we use when we talk about covalent compounds. So covalent compounds, you have to see all nonmetals. But just like that, the issue here, silicon is a metalloid. It's not necessarily a nonmetal. So I, I wouldn't classify SIC as a molecular crystalline solid. The last one is network covalent. And network covalent is kind of the, uh, you know, the opposite of a metallic one, in which metallic, you would just see one single metal. But a network covalent, you would just see one single nonmetal. Kind of just like if carbon was by itself. But there's another criteria, and it's in which you would see anything with silicon, SI, and the silicon has to be the first element. And voila, I have the silicon. So silicon is a very special element. Uh, element in terms of what solids it forms. And since we spot out that we have a silicon, this would most likely be a network covalent crystalline solid. And it wouldn't be the molecular one because of the non, uh, the metalloid characteristic. So it would be a network covalent. All right, let's just color this in. Oh boy, I could fix that, beautiful. That's the best I'm gonna do. And let's just pull this into the center, beautiful. Okay, what'd you think? Thank you for tuning in. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're having a great day and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. Just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. We also have physics and math videos on the channel at the moment with more subjects in the future. So go check it out. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.